Pagan Hales from Rauda this time to go to Germany with a band called Obscurity. Now, mind you, there are lots of bands with the very same name. Even from Germany alone comes a few Obscurity ones. But this is the most famous, most active and all that stuff. And here we have the ninth album called Skuger Mauers. Uh, this is a nice looking glossy digiback released by Trollzorn in 2021. Let's take a look at it while I'll guide you through the band. Trying to not give you too much of... Uh, you know, reflections here, this is how the glossy looking digiback is. In my eyes, pretty beautiful. Nice looking one and uh, giving you a good impact of, or good idea rather, uh, what this album looks like. Pardon for a little bit of a grainy image, uh, it's already getting uh, this kind of a fall like gray sky here. But nonetheless, here we have um, the band's photos with the booklet and all everything very very professionally made this is the band that could be called german version of amonema that is melod death with a little bit of uh, black metallic pieces here and there or elements si seasoning if you will and also um what we could say pagan metal viking metal Whatever. But usually when people are talking about Ammonomoth and the like, we just call them melodic death metal or mellow death, depending which corner or which angle you're coming from. Here on Metal Archives, it's just a melodic black slash viking slash death metal. It sounds more complicated than what it is, actually, that is, because if you've ever heard Ammonomoth, you know basically exactly how obscurity sounds like. Now, quick recap. This band was started in 1997 and since then they have indeed released quite actively albums and nine so far in 22 years, counting from the year 2000 debut album. Now I have not heard each and all of them, so I am just putting my experience on the few ones that I have and to be honest the band hasn't really changed too much during the years. This is a good news, obviously, if you're a fan, that is, existing fans of bands such as Obscurity or Ammonimoth. Why so? Because they don't really change their style. They're more like delivering you more the same given style that they have been always doing, with more or less success. I mean, there are obviously differences in terms of quality and all that stuff when we're talking about individual review, uh, releases, but overall, this is the kind of a band that seems to keep very consistent in style. That is, if you like one album or two, you're quite likely to like at least to some degree all of them. Then again, if you're already allergic to Ammonimoth or Obscurity for that matter, this is not going to change your mind. This runs for almost 56 minutes, so almost an hour, and that's, to be honest, too much of the given style. Why so? Let me try to explain. First of all, um, the album is well made. I mean, you have... Uh, Good production, can't really bitch about the guitars, vocals, drums, etc. The thing here is it's just very much like band that is supposed to sound like a big band, that is big budget, mainstream band is supposed to sound like. So you have the kind of a, you know, go-to good production. You can't say it's bad, but it's kind of a, I mean, it lacks personality. It's almost like trying to emulate what these big label bands are doing. In this case, I'm on a modern metal blade with, you know, the roll zone and obscurity. And while I can really bitch about it, I mean, it, it's better to sound strong and impactful rather than weak and with lots of personality. It's just very generic. Now, this doesn't really bother me at all and can't say the same with the vocals. I mean, they're quite good, basic, low, growly vocals in the terms of mellow death. But if I would be just like blindly listening to this band, I really couldn't like say, I would probably just guess it's one of those Amanamath albums that I haven't been listening for years. I mean, the thing here is, with the lack of personality, it's really easy to confuse this to other bands with the same given style. Not saying it's a bad thing, it just kind of a, uh, explains why this isn't exactly the band with lots of personality and all. Now, given that this album runs for almost 60 minutes, it's more like kind of a track at some point, especially when you have the version with the bonus track and all. That is, with a little bit more combat, uh, 
cutting off the fat, trimming in essence, this could have been even more powerful one. Now it seems like after a few songs the pattern just keeps repeating and milking just the same cow and you're like okay instead of maybe eight really good tracks we're getting like 13 quite okay tracks. Very easy to listen but none of them really you know shine. There are no real peak moments. Each album, I mean each song basically have those better melodies but none of them are really like wow this is the go-to track. So uh, it kind of uh, makes this uh, sounding like a little bit of a diluted in the mouth. Like, I mean, if this could be a warm-up band from Ramona Off, you would really get the image here. But still, this is not without its merits. And like I said, if you like the given style, you are very much an audience for it. I, for example, I like Ramona Off, especially the early albums, a lot. Now, the more down the road we go, less I really care about the band. And this is where it comes to obscurity. Why would I listen to that? Because I'm not even big fan of all what Amon Amoth has to offer, when this is not exactly as good. This pales in comparison. But then again, if you're a bigger Amon Amoth fan than I could ever be, well, this is right up your alley. There is no reason why not to check this one out. And also, if you like uh, German melodic style with the Vikings and Pagans and all the traditions, well, yeah, yeah, give this one a go. Just be warned, it's not that good. It's decent, but not great. All right, this being said, uh, time for you to check out the band or not. Links are in the description box, so click and listen. And if you consider yourself a fan, why don't you buy a CD or some merchandise? This is Rauda. See you soon with more reviews coming away. Bye.